You're lying in your hospital bed, feeling the weight of the day. The monitor beside you hums softly, and your nurse just left after saying, the doctor has ordered a new medication for you. That's where your part of the story usually ends. You wait, and a nurse eventually brings your treatment. But behind the scenes, an invisible chain of events is set into motion, one that winds through some of the cleanest, most controlled rooms in the entire hospital. Step 1. The Doctor's Order Your doctor, after reviewing your charts, types an order into the hospital's electronic system. That order doesn't go to a regular shelf of pills or to the local Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. It goes to the hospital's sterile compounding pharmacy, a place that operates under the strict rules of USP Chapter 797 within the hospital. Step 2. The Pharmacy's First Stop The Ante Room your prescription first arrives in the anteroom. Think of it as the gateway to the sterile world, the border checkpoint where pharmacists and technicians prepare themselves before entering the cleanest areas. In this space, staff wash their hands, put on sterile gowns, gloves, masks, and shoe covers. Air here is already cleaner than a typical hospital hallway, thanks to HEPA-filtered supply air and a constant flow of fresh, particle-free air replacing the old around 20 air changes per hour and meeting ISO Class 7 standards. From an HVAC perspective, the anteroom is like a pressure dam. It's designed to keep contaminants out of the next room by maintaining slightly higher air pressure, so clean air moves forward into the pharmacy, not the other way around. Step 3. Inside the buffer room, the clean room heart. Once gowned, a pharmacy technician steps into the buffer room, also called the clean room. Here, the air is even purer, meeting ISO Class 7 standards. It feels still, calm. There's no random breeze, no dust floating in the sunlight. That's because 30 or more complete air changes per hour are continuously cycling through HEPA filters, sweeping particles down and out through low wall returns. The room is kept at positive pressure for non-hazardous compounding, meaning air always flows outward into less clean areas, never inward. This is the HVAC system acting as an invisible shield, protecting your medication from the tiniest airborne threats. Step 4. The Primary Engineering Control – Where the Magic Happens In the center of the buffer room or clean room sits the Primary Engineering Control, the star of the show. This could be a laminar airflow workbench or another ISO Class 5 device. Here, inside a bubble of unidirectional laminar airflow, the technician compounds your medication or IV. Imagine clean air flowing in a smooth, even curtain from top to bottom, pushing away invisible particles before they can drift near your medication. This airflow is steady, precise, and uninterrupted, because even a wave of a hand in the wrong way could disturb it. Step 5. Final Check and Delivery Once prepared, your medication is sealed, labeled, and moved back through the anteroom. In many cases, it's delivered via a pneumatic tube system or hand-carried to the nurse's station. From there, it arrives at your bedside, the only part you usually see. Why this matters to you as a patient. As you watch the nurse connect the IV line or hand you a small cup of pills, it's easy to miss the fact that an entire team of professionals and an intricate HVAC-controlled environment worked behind the scenes to make sure it's safe, sterile, and exactly what you need. Every room, from the anteroom to the buffer room to the primary engineering control, is designed for one goal, to protect you. And the air itself, invisible and silent, is one of the most important medicines in the room. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our HVAC and plumbing estimating spreadsheets to streamline your construction bidding process. Check out our HVAC, electrical, and plumbing construction forms to help you run your business and explore our online courses for in-depth training.